Today I will share with you why work drive is extremely important when you are working in a zoo environment. Until zoo work drive was released, there was a huge problem of managing attachments with zoo products. For example, I have now a new account. So let's go to one of my accounts. And I have here Beyonce, for example. I am going to my attachment and I will upload the file to the attachment. And that will be something. Now, when the file is being attached to my account, I will probably want to use the same file in my Zoho desk or Zoho projects or one of the other applications. The problem is that this file will be only on Zoho CRM. So this is problem number one. I cannot share my, my files between the Zoho applications. Huge problem. Second problem, Zoho CRM as an example is its own storage engine and you have only one gigabyte of storage using your license. The more attachment you load, the more you will pay eventually to Zoho. That's also a big problem. Now you have each application will have its own storage. One will have five megabytes, the other one one gigabytes, the other one whatever. The bottom line is that you will start paying to different applications. Also a huge problem for a small business. Most of us are not that rich. We cannot afford it. Problem number three. Let's assume that I want to send Beyonce an email. I will go to my email, I will go to send mail, I will click on attachments and no way to connect my Zoho CRM files to the attachments. What can I do now? So I'm stuck. I have my, my PDFs for example in my Zo CRM, but if I want to send Beyonce my PDF, I will need to go here to my attachments. I will need to download. Let's go back to my accounts. I will need to click on attachments. I will need to download the attachment. I will need to go here to the email. I will need to go to my desktop. I will need to go here and upload. Now, one more problem that you will see very soon, that Zo email is limited in space. For example, if I will have about, I think, 10 megabytes, I will not be able to send it anymore. So I'm stuck also here. So I have four huge problems related attachments. Now, for me, it was a huge problem and also for my clients until Zo work drive came in. So let's assume, let's take this process and let's try to see how it really works. So I will have here, for example, I will go to my work drive. And by the way, Zo Work Drive is free on your Zo One package. And the upside is you're getting five terabytes, terabytes of space, which cost hundreds of dollars per month with a different company. But Zo give it to you for free. I love this company. Anyway, so if I am going, for example, to my uh, folders, I will go right now to my team folders. And I will create here a new folder named clients. And in the client, I will create a file for Beyonce. So that's a folder, sorry, folder for Beyonce. I will have here a checkbox. And if you want, you can create different share levels. For example, you can also create it as an external link. And then you can share the entire folder with the client, for example, if you choose so. Right now, the folder is uh, being shared only with your team. It's an internal folder. 
Let's go back to my CRM. This is something, by the way, that I need to do only once. I'm creating a folder for each one of my clients, and that also can be automated. I can have a script that whenever a new account or a new contact is being created on CRM, it automatically will create a folder and it will share it with the client, for example. It all can be done automatically behind the scene. Now, if I am going back here to attachments, you will see that you have here the Zoho work drive link. I will go here, I will click on general, I will go to Beyonce folder and I will upload the file. And let's upload the same file. Now, because I am uploading it to an external source, like a work drive, now it will be shared with all the ZO applications seamlessly. So now I have here the file was uploaded. If I will go, for example, to contacts, I will go to Beyonce, I will send an email to Beyonce, I can go to the attachments and then I can go to ZO work drive. And now I can go to the folder for Beyonce and then I will be able to share the file. Okay? Now that's, that's very cool. Here you can see that the system is asking me if I want to share it with anyone with a link or only people in my, my organization. Because the, the folder sharing per, uh, permissions are only for my team. So Zo also telling you that you are going to share it outside of your organization if you're really cool with it. So I will have here anyone with the link in view. I will click on share and now you can see that you have here a link. Now the beauty of having a link and not the real attachment is that you can have any file that you want, even 200 megabytes. One of my clients is an architect. He is sending emails and he had a huge problem, how can he share two, three hundred megabytes files with someone else? And once the work drive came with the, this new solution, he was able to do it. So web design companies, IT companies, there are lots of companies that are supposed to have lots of storage, real estate agents. This is a great solution. So the bottom line is, you're getting, as part of your ZO1, you're getting a free solution, which is ZO Work Drive. It's fixing the problem of sharing files or folders between the ZO applications. You can use them for your ZO CRM emails. You can use them anywhere. You can share them with your clients or with your teammates. And you virtually not really limited in space because you have five terabytes of space. Okay, it's crazy. It's 5,000 gigabytes. It's just an insane number. So bottom line, work drive is an amazing, amazing solution. You can also automate everything that I just showed you it can be fully automated that when something happens, folders will be created, permission will be shared. It's amazing. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that that was uh, a very good session for you. I hope you will take advantage of it because it's an amazing solution. If you like the session, thumbs up, give me some love. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next session.